Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Remember a few days ago, we were talking about the slow-moving CME that was headed towards the Earth. It departed the sun around the 18th, and it's been traveling for over four days. Well, it's finally arrived here at planet Earth, and as it arrived, it created a very strong geomagnetic storm. So strong that people in Germany and Poland were able to see northern lights. In fact, in one area, you can see they were seeing green spotted lights lights dancing around the sky above Germany. Gentleman here from Germany says my pulse is still racing. He watched the Aurora show from Saxony, Germany during the apex of the geomagnetic storm. There were bright green spots dancing across the sky all the way up to Zenith and this is what he saw. He said he still can't believe what he saw through all the light pollution from the, the city lights. They've never seen that before over here. Goes on to say that this was probably a once in a lifetime event. Even saw the auroras down in Poland. And here's what the aurora oval looks like right now. It's fluctuating between the, the red and the green and the orange, the red being the most intense. And as you can see, the United States down here is starting to dive into the darkness. So as we get into the nighttime hours, we could see some northern lights in and possibly 30 northern U.S. states tonight. And here's a list of those states that could possibly see auroras. Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, North and South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Wisconsin, Illinois, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Vermont, New Hampshire, sure and Maine. And there could be more. These are just the early predictions because right now we are under what's known as a polar cap absorption event. That's from the CME that's engulfing the Earth right now as I do this video. And all of that energy is being channeled to the North and South Pole. And it's causing radio blackouts in the, the North and South Pole. Article over here at spaceweather.com goes on to say don't try to use a shortwave radio inside the Arctic Circle today because it might not work. Red zones in this global map show where the shortwave transmissions are being absorbed. Frequencies below 15 megahertz are almost completely blacked out. What's causing this? A CME that hit the Earth on April 23rd, just before it arrived. Shockwaves at the leading edge of the CME accelerated high-energy protons straight towards planet Earth, and those protons were directed towards the North and South Pole. And here's what the D region looks like right now as I do this video. Completely overwhelmed with protons right now as I do this video. And the article goes on to say that this event could last for a few days. And we can monitor the situation over here at spaceweather.com. Once again, we are under a polar cap absorption event due to the very slow moving CME that's been traveling for days. And I think what happened as this thing was traveling very slowly between the sun and the earth, it accumulated density. And the slow movement of the very dense CME with the earth's magnetic magnetic shields has created some incredible auroras that people have seen over in Europe. Once again, even in city lights where there's light pollution, auroras are still getting through and being photographed by people. This just occurred a few hours ago. So once again, if you're over here in the United States, as it gets dark, if you're in the mid-latitudes, of course, all the way up into Canada, here's a map where the, the auroras should be visible tonight after dark. You can see this red line going right through the center of the United States. And once again, this is the early forecast. This could change. The auroras could go farther down into the United States as we're in the middle of a proton storm, basically, that's created a geomagnetic storm. We're still in the geomagnetic storm, and the United States, once again, is turning into the, the darkness hours right now as I do this video. So if you're in this area, go outside. You might be able to see some auroras tonight as that CME did arrive, that slow-moving CME, and it's creating some spectacular auroras, according to the, the folks over in Europe, they're seeing some things that they've never seen before. Green dots in a red nighttime sky 
above city lights. Absolutely incredible. Coming over here to the homepage of the website, I posted a new photo today that was sent in by S. Jacobs from South Carolina. He took this photo of the Sombrero Galaxy himself. This is M104, and it is visible from time to time, and you can photograph this galaxy if you have the right equipment. And he does have the right equipment. Once again, that's the Sombrero Galaxy photograph from over here in the United States out of South Carolina. Awesome photo. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. And if you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red banner that says, Have a Large Video. All you have to do is click on the red banner, drag and drop your video into the red tab. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.